Okay, speech number two. Got a surprise for you. We got three adult people today. All right. Um, the effects. Let me see if I'm if I'm okay. Okay, so make sure. No, no, I'm just uh, just like being informing you about some stuff. Okay, so we gotta be what you can see through people. Hi. Okay. All right. Well, the effects of music on emotions and society. Luke Dargent, a French blogger, wrote, If you put the right sound with the right beat, you have yourself a hit. You can't escape sound, and the right sound has an amazing and scientifically illusion effect on the mind and body. Though many people speculate, nobody knows how long music has been around. Probably as long as mankind, and I'm pretty sure when their ears tasted those advertising notes of sound, that they were just as intrigued as we are today. I came up with that by myself. Okay. Now, quoting the rich coffee music productions, science all but confirms that humans are hardwired to respond to music. In 2004, the Secretary General says in a lecture that from the first lullaby song to us as newborn babies, music provides the soundtrack of our lives, so much so that I think many of us take it for granted, just as we do the soundtrack of a film, which we often hear without listening to it. That is, we enjoy the film without realizing how much the music conditions our reactions. Okay, the first song I remember ever hearing was Rock Steady by The Whispers. I was, I was young, but I remember tuning everything out as this song took over every fiber in my body. On the outside, I was completely composed, but on the inside, I was jamming. Still to this day, I can hear the chorus of that song playing. Try to think of the first song. Now, try to think of the first song that you ever heard. The one that really had an emotional impact on you. Anybody. Anybody. Very, just try to think back as far as you can to the first song you ever uh, heard. Big Dad. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can't remember the name of that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. But, um,. Well, for the ones that can remember that song, look at how that song manifests itself. Not only can you hear the song, but you can remember where you were, and for some, with better memory, you can even remember the time of day. Another quote by the Secretary General is, In a world of diversity where often values clash, music leaps across language barriers, and unites people of quite different cultural backgrounds. And so, through music... All people can come together and make the world a more harmonious place. No matter who you are or where you are from, there is some genre, genre of music that gets your feet tapping. But does music always have that effect? Let me read to you an article submitted by a young woman, screen named Mama, Mama Delina, which was a screen name on some site. But uh, she says, I think there are situations where music does unite people. But there are other situations where music drives people apart. I mean that music is a too general term just because when you say music, you refer to a multitude of types, genres, sounds, styles, etc. In the first case, people can be united literally by two types of music. One is the music enjoyed by a large number of people because it touches their souls, their emotional side, while the second is represented by anthems, melodies that carry a specific message known by all those who are listening to it at that particular moment. In all of these situations, music unites people. For a few moments, they belong to a larger group. But there are also a second case when music can make people feel like strangers. And this happens when there are listeners who find no connection to a particular type of music. In such situations, they will not understand any of those enjoying the music. They will feel outsiders, loners, strangers. That's why every person who organizes a party knows that they have to get informed in advance what type of music are perform or are preferred by their guests, otherwise the party is a failure. So I consider that nobody should overlook the power of music, but pay attention to the direction this power is likely to manifest itself and use it wisely. End quote. So now all things considered, she makes a very valid point. But music, to your liking or not, will evoke some type of emotion. So I end with my opening quote, if you put the right sound with the right beat, you have yourself a hit. Boom. Hi. Peace out.